Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Space City Signature Event with your champion 1698V Power Beans and 1000A Foothill Robotics, an incredible series we went through all the way. I'm here with Richard and Neil, talk a little bit more about their big victory here. So Richard, starting out, uh, you know, both your teams competed at uh, Mall of America just a few months ago, and actually all the teams that were in the finals here were too. Talk to me about that journey from uh, getting knocked out there to now being champions here. How has your team uh, improved from that competition all the way through? Yeah, so um, at Mall of America, we had a pretty rough journey because although we thought we were, were somewhat confident in winning ELIMS, we got disqualified due to pulling a ring out in the last 15 seconds of the positive corner and that rule was removed the day after so like if the if the event had taken place like a week later we would have won that match so but coming here we just decided to upgrade our robot and our autons to just do better in general and then that really helped us just win this event well, obviously very hungry coming into this event as well too. And you guys end up, I believe it's a fifth seed, right? Uh, it's come on this. So talk to me about picking Foothill or Box. Why were they such a great uh, fit for your alliance? Yeah, so at first we well, we were looking to get picked by someone above us. But although because since second seed picked us and we did not want to go with them, we got that did not work out for us. So then we changed our mind and decided to go with Foothill Robotics as they had great autons, great match play, and that worked really well for us because we were able to win the event with them. Neil, kind of similar situation, right? Coming from Mall into here as well too. What were some of the key improvements for your team coming to this event? After Mall, we thought we had a really good understanding of strategy. We were thinking that we really need to prioritize that fifth mobile goal. But like, as we went to a bunch of local tournaments, we kind of straight, uh, changed our strategy to focus on wall stakes. But when we came here, this is a much higher level of play than those local tournaments where every single team is really high performing. So our strategy of completely going for the wall stakes did not work out. And we um, lost our first couple of matches. But after that, we realized the importance of the fifth mobile goal that we learned at Mall and um, started playing a lot better. And then that same strategy carried us through E1 with 1698P2. And you both are from the same region as well, too, which I think is cool. You have all that experience playing together with each other. How did your alliance approach playoffs? What were some of the conversations, you know, coming from round of 16 and quarters and semis leading in the finals? What were some of those conversations like? Yeah, so we both really needed to work together really hard. It was a bit stressful because both of our autons were actually made on the practice field 10 minutes before matches. So we communicated really well, flipped the autons, not sure they were going to work, but, uh, but communication is key. We just, if we could not communicate, we would not have won at all. Was there a specific strat that your alliance found worked really well, uh, you know, going into each one of these sets of matches? Yeah, so what they did that um, I believe won us a tournament was that they used a um, ring to rush the goal. So you see most teams here, they have like a um, arm that clamps the goal. But that, that arm can easily be won against if the goal is tipped in our direction. But since they use a ring to tip it, and since they run a faster drivetrain than most um, other um, teams in the eliminations, we won the goal rush every single time. Got control of that fifth mobile goal that um, we value so much, and that really helped us win the event. Let's talk about uh, finals a little bit here. I mean, we saw some crazy set of finals coming in. We saw DQs, we saw descoring as well too, which was incredible, I thought. What were some of the strategies uh, coming in the finals and did it change at all You know, from you know round of 16, quarterfinals, semifinals? Did you approach finals any differently? Yeah, so during finals, we actually changed our strategy a bit because at first, finals one went really well and we won the match and everything went well. But then they changed our strategy in finals two as well, where they just directly rushed our positive corner and that caused us to lose our positive corner in the beginning because we were trying to focus on getting the fifth mobile and then so during finals three we decided to at first just protect the positive corner instead of just going for the fifth mogul but then go for it or steal their goal to end up with three goals in general as that's what gave us the most points and won us the match in general in finals three I believe. Power Beans, Foothill Robox, congratulations going to uh, Vex Rolls. I'm sure it's incredibly exciting for you. Can't wait to see you there and good luck throughout the rest of the competition season. We can't wait to see what future robots you all come up with. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.